My name is Ted Brown. I placed uh, second place at ECACs my freshman year. I got third at uh, Big Tens my sophomore year, and then I was Big Ten champion my junior year. The sport's so hard on your body that one of the biggest problems is just staying healthy. I've broken almost all my fingers, except for like two. I had a stress fracture in my elbow. I was just starting to get better in the sport my freshman year of high school. That was the first time I made nationals. My sophomore year, I was diagnosed with an angiofibroma tumor, which is a tumor that's like on your brain and kind of like in the center of your head. The doctor said that I would never be able to do gymnastics again. Altogether, I had about seven surgeries. The major surgery was about a 12-hour surgery. They cut from here and went all the way across my whole head. The tumor was also wrapped around my jaw, so they had to break my jaw. But even when I went to college, I had trouble speaking and stuff because they had to like take out my palate. My biggest problem, before I had a lot of stuff fixed with my jaw, I would just get so fatigued. like I would only stay up for about three hours. The chronic pain tends to fatigue you. When you're sleeping, you don't, you're not thinking about the pain, so it almost it makes you tired. It just draws, it draws a lot of energy from you. It's something you kind of get used to, because after you have chronic pain for so long, you don't even realize it's there, really, until you think about it. I mean, they first told me I was practically like in tears. I remember just like looking at like his office overlooked like the whole skyline of New York City and the Hudson River. I remember just like looking at his office like I didn't want to believe it and almost kind of had it in my mind that I never kind of put it in my mind that I wasn't going to be able to do it again. I've been doing the sports for so long and then someone tells you you can't do it. It's like you can't really, it's so hard to accept that. Even though they told me that I wasn't going to be able to do gymnastics, I still applied to a, a small Division three school in Massachusetts, because I wanted to have the opportunity where I could at least come in and maybe do like aerobic work or st some strength work. I wanted to stay involved. I got ECAC Rookie of the Year my freshman year. After that was just my first year back in the sport. And then from that, I was able to show the Division I school that I was able to even get better. When I was in it before, I didn't really appreciate how much, like, how much I love the sport until you don't have it anymore and you don't appreciate it almost and then you realize like, how lucky you were when you were able to. When I think about it to myself, I kind of call it like the gift and the curse, because at one point it was like a, a curse because I know I had to go through all that, like all the trauma and all the stuff in my life, and pretty much took me out of the sport like as an all-rounder. But at the same time, I don't feel like I could say that I would have been this good on palm horse if it didn't happen. And also just changed my life. My whole perspective on life has changed. So that's why I kind of call it the gift and the curse, because it's been so horrible, but yet it's made me the person that I am today that I probably would have never become before.